Hi friends, Tiana here, and I've got another Kate and Art project I'm super excited to share with you. Today, we're thinking about the importance of play. And what better way to do that than by creating our own playground. Today's project is a great way to use recycled materials that you have right at home. Even materials left over from previous art projects will be great for this. Let's get started. What you'll need for this project is some sort of base. So that can be a paper plate, could even be an old crayon box, an egg carton, or even old packaging box. You'll also want to grab different materials such as cups, containers, toilet paper rolls, rope, foam. You can also grab leftover art materials such as fabric. This is felt, yarn and string even twine, pipe cleaners. You'll also need some sort of liquid glue and scissors with the help of a grown-up. For this project, I decided to cut a piece of cardboard from my box to use as my base. So now that I know what I'm going to be working on top of, you want to think about what kind of areas do you want in your park? And it could be anything, slides and swings. Maybe it's a giant amusement park or maybe a safari park where there's lots of different animals all over the place. So I've decided that I'm going to create a swing set here, maybe a pool here, a slide in this area, and then this will be kind of like the grass um, picnic area that kind of goes around like this. So now I'm going to grab different materials and start gluing in where I want things to go. Please make sure that when it's time to cut anything that you get a grown up to help you with that part. Now I'm going to set this to the side to dry while I work on the other parts of this part. So I think the next thing I will do is go ahead and fill in my pool and maybe put like a blockage here for the pool for safety. You'll notice that as I was gluing the fabric on here, I was pinching it. And that's so that I could create the texture of a pool. Because usually a pool is not flat. It's usually, especially with friends inside swimming and splashing around, you're gonna see some ripples. And so I wanted to create a ripple effect. So 
so you'll see that now I have my slide here and I created some steps using some foam and I've got my little landing pad. I also added this piece of cardboard here to continue my swing set and we will create some swings uh, right now. So what I'm using for this part is just some scrap pieces of pipe cleaners and I grabbed two in the same color and one in a different color. So when we think about a swing, you know there is a seat and then there are the chains that connect it to the rest of the structure. So what I'm gonna do is create my seat by taking my pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna fold it into threes, just like this. Now I'm going to take my blue pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna loop a piece around here and see how I've got it like this and just kind of fold it around. And I'm gonna give it a little twist so that way it's secure and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I've got my seat and the chains and all I have to do now is connect it to the rest of my structure. So I'm gonna tilt this up and I'm gonna see where exactly I want my swing to fall. And then I'm just gonna loop these around the structure part here, okay? So you'll see that I folded it over. Now I'm gonna bring this bottom part through here and loop it back around. And so you'll see I kinda just pinched it over and it's still pretty loose and it's easy for me to unravel. And now I've got a swing set here. So the last thing I'm going to do is start working on my uh, relaxation tree park area. So for this part, we are going to create some trees. And how I did that was by taking some scrap cardboard pieces as the base of my tree, the bark. And then I'm just taking some something green, which is my pipe cleaners, and I'm gonna cut them down. I decided to cut mine pretty small. And here's the size. Portions are off, but that's okay. So how I create the top of the tree, move that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and take my piece of pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna make, a little, make it into a little bit of a loop. Nothing too fancy. There. Now that I've made my loop, I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue here to go ahead and get the top of my tree on here. And here's my tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more of these. Now I've got my trees. Now that I have them here, I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing them into the areas that I want them to be. And since the bottom of my trees are pretty thin, I'm gonna make sure I use lots of glue here so that it really sticks on there. Now that I've got my trees on here, I'm gonna go ahead 
and take some green foam and the last piece of my paint cleaners and just cut them into teeny tiny pieces in order to create some patches of grass all over my park. Now that I've got all of my foam shapes and pipe cleaner cut up into teeny tiny pieces, I'm going to go ahead and get my glue, put them into different areas, and then just take this and pack it on top. And then we'll be all done with my part. And there we have it. And here is my park. So I've got a swing set here. I've got my slide here. And it's got an area for steps to walk up to get on the slide. And then here's the landing area. Here's my pool. You have to go around this way to get to it because there's a safety bar here. And then Here's my trees and all of the patches of grass so that you can sit down and relax and have a picnic. Thank you so much for coming to create art with me. I would love to see what you have created. So don't forget to tag us on Instagram. See you next time.